10 of the best hockey movies of all time. Hey guys, welcome back to Hockey Hub. Today we'll talk about 10 of the best hockey movies of all time. Let's head into it. Number 10, The Mighty Duck, 23%. This is probably the hockey movie everyone has the fondest memories of. This 1992 classic about a peewee hockey team is etched in the minds of everyone who was around in the 90s. The Mighty Ducks became so popular that it even spawned a real NHL team of the same name. Though critics were pretty harsh on this movie, for its predictability, it keeps its god will standing with viewers. Gordon Bombay, Charlie Conway, and Adam Banks and Goldberg all went on to become memorable figures in pop culture. Fans still love catching it on TV randomly today. Number 9. Mystery Alaska 37% The plot of 1999's Mystery Alaska made for an interesting tale. A small Alaskan town known for their hockey prowess gets the chance to compete against the NHL's New York Rangers on their own turf. Throw in a cast including Russell Crowe, Burt Reynolds, and Hank Azaria and it's a recipe for success. Alas, many critics felt that the film dragged on for some of its near two-hour runtime. It needed more hockey scenes to keep the action and drama going. When those scenes come, the film works at the climactic game at the end is well crafted. Number 8. Young Blood, 38%. Getting a slight edge over Mystery Alaska is Young Blood. Released in 1986, this film told the story of a farm boy named Dean Youngblood, played by a young Rob Lowe who tries out for a Canadian hockey team. His speed and skill earn him a spot, but that's not enough. Dean lacks toughness, which the team prides itself on. He ends up under the wing of the team captain, played by Patrick Swayze, and becomes a grittier player. With a decent love story and former NHL player in a key role, Youngblood gets a lot right. Number 7. Goon, Last of the Enforcers, 42%. The most recent entry on this list, Goon, Last of the Enforcers, was released in 2017. It was the sequel to a highly touted film from a few years earlier. This continued the story of Doug, the thug Glad, played by Sean William Scott as he continued his hockey career. Glad is known for being an enforcer. He's the guy on his team who is the bruiser and fighter, but sees his career stalled by injuries. This sequel saw him try out a regular life before getting called back to the game he loved. Unfortunately, it just wasn't as good as its predecessor. Number 6. Sudden Death, 51%. A Jean-Claude Van Damme movie from 1995? That must mean it's a cheesy, over-the-top romp of a time. Sudden Death is everything you would expect it to be. Instead of focusing on a hockey team or a player, it instead centers on a security guard at the Pittsburgh Civic Arena. The guard, Van Damme, must play the hero, as a hostage situation breaks out during the final game of the Stanley Cup Finals. Original reviews weren't positive, but the film has become something of a cult classic and features some thrilling action scenes. Number 5. Indian Horse, 79%. 2018's Indian Horse sees a big jump in Rotten Tomatoes rating from the previous entry. This was a different kind of hockey tale, as it focused on Saul, a young Indian boy forced to live in a school system in society that oppresses his background and ultimately abuses him. The film became a hit across various Canadian film festivals. Though Saul's life is troubled, he finds happiness and success on the ice rink. That drama was why the film was so well received, even if it wasn't a commercial hit of some others on the list. Number 4. Goon, the first film on this list to officially be sent to officially be certified as fresh on Rotten Tomatoes. 2012's Goon introduced the world to Doug the Thug Glad. Part of what made it work so much more than the sequel was how it focused on Glad finding himself thanks to his role on the team. It was exactly the kind of underdog tale that is perfect in a sports film. Goon is helped by how well it handles the slapstick comedy and the tremendous performances from a talented and deep supporting cast. Number 3. Miracle 81% You wouldn't expect a comedy about a fighter to score the same rating as an adaptation of arguably the greatest story in sports history. However, 2004's Miracle indeed just barely edges out Goon thanks to having more reviews. The movie is beloved, even holding a 90% audience rating. Miracle is based on the true story of a ragtag team of college kids playing for the United States during the 1980 Olympics. At the height of the Cold War, they shocked the world by defeating the heavily favored Soviet Union team. With great performances and a touching story, it's a classic. Number 2. Slapshot 88% Slapshot, which arrived in 1977, is the oldest movie on this list. This proved that, despite hockey being a serious sport with some aggressive players, it often works best in films when blended with comedy. Slapshot is about a minor league team known as the Charlestown Chiefs. With the team in jeopardy as they struggled, their player coach, Reggie Dunlaw, played by Paul Newman, brought in the Hanson brothers. They brought a violent style that helped change the outlook of the team. It is considered by many to be the pinnacle of hockey cinema. Number 1. Hello Destroyer 100% This top entry will probably come as a surprise to many of you. Hello Destroyer, released in 2016, is one of the lesser known hockey films out there. In fact, on Rotten Tomatoes, it doesn't have many ratings. Still, when each of those reviews is a positive one, it earned this spot. Hello Destroyer is about a junior hockey player who has his entire life altered when a hit during a game becomes something more. He becomes a bit of pariah and struggles to deal with it all. It is worth checking out on Amazon Prime today. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.